AMD's recent release of their 7000 series CPUs, along with new motherboards, the X670 and the B650, both of which make DDR5 memory mandatory. Now, even though Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake and Z690 motherboards support DDR5 first, there was also backwards compatibility with DDR4 options available, whereas AMD has foregone DDR4 backwards compatibility altogether. We should soon find out if Intel's 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs will follow in AMD's footsteps without DDR4 backwards compatibility. This leads us to our sponsor of the video, Kingston, with their Fury Renegade DDR5 RGB memory, who asked us to run some gaming and productivity tests, give our thoughts, and with that, let's check out the product. Before we get started, let's make sure everyone is aware that the motherboard and the BIOS versions play a huge part in how RAM performs. Want to enable XMP or EXPO, this is done in the motherboard settings. We aren't testing overclocking, but the SOC and voltage can improve or impact memory performance. The Fury Renegade DDR5 series memory is available in 6000 and 6400 MHz speed options with a cast latency of 32CL and two voltages of 1.35V and 1.4V. The memory is Intel XMP 3.0 certified but not AMD EXPO. There's only one module capacity available which is 16 gigabit. This is an important factor to consider if your new X670E motherboard has four slots and supports up to 128 gigabits of memory. Even with four sticks of 16 gigabyte Fury Renegade memory, the max amount of memory will be 64 gigabyte. For most people, this is more than enough memory day to day. But if you're already using 96 or 128 gigabytes of memory, this memory might not meet your capacity requirements. There is on-die ECC support, which is something that has long been missing from the consumer memory products. The heat spreaders have been redesigned and provide a sleek, slim profile. Kingston also provides a limited lifetime warranty on their products. The Kingston Fury Renegade RGB comes with 16 preset effects that can be controlled using Kingston Fury control software. The RGB can also be controlled using motherboard software such as MSI Mystic, ASUS Aurora, ASRock, and Gigabyte RGB Fusion. However, we only tested the RGB using the Fury control software. I personally like the light speed and raindrop presets. There's also Kingston Fury infrared sync technology, but without any public documentation on how this works, we have no way to test or confirm this feature. The golden rule before buying any memory is always check the qualified vendor list or QVL for short. We will put a link to Kingston's QVL list in the description. We had a few motherboards in our test inventory and we randomly chose the following three. And to be fair, most consumers buy their motherboard and CPUs first based on price, then they start looking for compatible memory second. Therefore, companies like Kingston spend a lot of time and money to ensure their QVL list supports as many motherboards as possible. For Intel, we chose an MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR5. We chose a second Intel Gigabyte Z690i Aurora Ultra Plus DDR5 Wi-Fi. And we also chose an AMD ASUS ProArt X670E Creator Wi-Fi DDR5. The MSI Intel motherboard is listed in the Kingston QVL for Fury Renegade support. And this makes sense that it is XMP 3.0 certified memory. The second gigabyte Intel motherboard QVL currently only has support for Fury Beast DDR5. The third motherboard also has Fury Beast memory in the QVL for the AMD ASUS ProArt motherboard, but not for the Fury Renegade. The Renegade memory was only released a few months ago, and it will take time for Kingston to test and update their QVL as the X670 and B650 motherboards become more widely available for purchase. All three motherboards worked without any issues, even though the Intel and the AMD are currently not on the QVL list. The benchmark testing, we use the Intel MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard since the Fury Renegade DDR5 memory is in the QVL list. We did enable resizable bar, however ray tracing and any upscaling features were not enabled. 
For Forza Horizon 5, tests were nearly identical in both 1080p and 1480p with XMP on or off. Shadow of the Tomb Raider did see slight improvements in both 1080p and 1440p with XMP on. As for Far Cry New Dawn, it had the biggest jumps in both 1080p and 1440p with XMP on. I heard that thing again. For a content creator type test, we exported a 5 minute 4K video using OpenCL with DaVinci Resolve 18. This test completed in around 2 minutes and 31 seconds. With AMD requiring DDR5 for their new 7000 series CPUs, and we're waiting to see what Intel 13th gen requirements will be, more builders will start buying DDR5. The Kingston Fury Renegade DDR5 does as advertised, with no issues enabling XMP 3.0. The memory feels well built and the heatsink is a slim profile. The Fury control software was easy to install from the Microsoft Store, and most users will find it intuitive to use when changing their RGB settings. Thanks for watching and check out our recent video where we use 4090s as workout equipment, and check back for an upcoming video benchmarking an AIO 4090.